In Vienna, music is everywhere. Schubert, Beethoven, Liszt, and Czerny are all composing new works. Amidst all this, one event captured my imagination more than all the others. A music publisher by the name of Anton Diabelli extends an invitation. <laughs> to the 50 greatest composers in Vienna. My dear musicians, I'm enclosing in this envelope a new waltz of my own making. He was a great music publisher, but not so great a composer. I composed it but a few days ago, and I invite each of you to compose one variation on my theme. Once I receive your variations, I will publish them all in one handsome volume that I promise will be a beautiful and popular book. He knew it would sell well. After all, for the price of one book, the music lover would receive 50 compositions by the best composers in Vienna. I hope you will find in my waltz a worthy and inspiring theme. All of them would have immortalized Diabelli's tiny waltz. And of course, I will compensate each of you for the variation that you contribute. I eagerly await your reply. Yours sincerely, Anton Diabelli, music publisher of the firm Diabelli, Cappy, and Company. All the composers accepted Diabelli's invitation and went to work on a variation of his less than stellar waltz. All the composers, except one. Signor Diabelli, Beethoven's reply comes via his secretary, Anton Schindler. The master has received your charming and melodic waltz, along with your request for him to write one variation on it. Beethoven took one look at it and hated it. Although this project is a very intriguing proposition and the master is very curious about it. We call it a Schusterfleck, a cobbler's patch. He found it commonplace. At this time, he is inundated with other commissions. He vehemently refused to have anything to do with it. So, he must regretfully decline your very a kind invitation. Thank you very much. Sincerely, <laughs> your servant, et cetera, et cetera. Anton Schindler, friend of Beethoven. That's actually what his calling card said. <laughs> Herr Schindler, I'm asking but for one variation, just to have his name on it. I am sorry, but his mind is completely occupied with other commissions. But then, something happened to Beethoven. What? What? What do you mean? History doesn't record what he said. <laughs> yeah, yes, but I already told him that. Are you certain? Fine. Fine! Dear Signor Diabelli, the master has asked me to come see you in person. I will be in your offices tomorrow at 3 o'clock. For what purpose? Until then, I remain most sincerely yours. Anton Schindler, friend of Beethoven. Thank you. Yes, I will see you there. Beethoven changed his mind and became obsessed with this waltz. He devoted the next three years of his life to it. He did not write one variation. Instead, he wrote 33 variations on Diabelli's theme. His longest piece for solo piano and what many musicians considered the most important work in variation form. This obsession of Beethoven's baffles me. What was it about this mediocre boss that so captured his imagination? At this point in his life, Beethoven is only tackling major works. He has very little time on it. And yet he chooses this Insignificant Waltz is his next project. Wow. I will be leaving in a few days to go to Bonn. There at the Beethoven Archive, I will be able to look at his diaries and his sketches. I have to understand why a genius became obsessed with mediocrity. I'm ready for you, Dr. Brandt. Who won? He did. I'll wait here. Are you sure we can't call Gary? Yes, but if it makes you feel any better, you can call me Gary. You're <laughs> a funny nurse. <laughs>
Yes, master. I need more paper. Uh, master, Herr Offenheimer says he won't give us any more paper. We owe him too much money. Then get it from Schmuckhofer. He won't give us any more paper because we owe him too much money. Then get it from Schmitz. You call him a sniveling pig donkey. And I need more ink. Yes, master. And Schindler. Open the shutters. It's too dark in here. Yes, master.
the seven variations by Beethoven. Even Meredith's own book. Oh, it certainly will. Of course, an undertaking of this magnitude will take many hours of work. Yes. Which the master will be devoting to your walls. Yes, what an honor. And he will do all of it for only 80 ducats. 80 ducats. 80 ducats? In advance. In advance? Yes. We can't take that kind of risk. Risk? You're speaking of Beethoven. What is the risk? Well, Beethoven has composed nothing of note in the last five years. How dare you? It's not me. People are talking. And what are people saying? That he's finished, that he has nothing more to offer, that he's too ill. People love to talk about other people's maladies. It makes them feel healthy. Is any of it true? It is no secret that Beethoven has been ill. People who have seen him say, he looks like a madman, a beggar. Tread lightly, dear Bella. Or I'll make sure you never get another Beethoven composition. Schindler, we can't give you 80 ducats and then not get the composition. It could ruin us. Dear Belly, it is six or seven variations. And your waltz, your composition, will give birth to a beautiful set of variations by Beethoven. You will have 40 ducats now and 40 ducats when the work is finished. I will tell the master. Promise me you will keep me informed of his progress at every step. I promise. Buongiorno, Signor Schindler. Guten Tag, Herr Diabelli. Set of variations on my waltz by Ludwig von Beethoven. <laughs> Well, that's me. 
Do you want my number? Your number? 17. Oh, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Please, please. I have more time than your mom. The, what I mean is Jessica, you're playing it, the, you know what I mean. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Diabolus. You know he doesn't like it when you call him that. 
Night and day I toil for the man. So tell him to be patient yet a little longer. I am not done. Thank you. 
touching the books. The oil in the fingers can damage the old paper. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. sketchbook. In its present condition, it consists of 43 leaves of hard egg paper. The binding itself makes use of five stitch holes. This is the first page. In this page, you see who owned it. After Beethoven died, they auctioned his sketchbooks. This one was bought and sold many times over the next 130 years. The composer Mendelssohn owned it. Uh, and the family of the philosopher Wittgenstein, which is how it got its name. This is the second page. These lines were made in this book almost 200 years ago. He wrote first in pencil. And when he was sure, he went back over it with ink and highlighted the parts he liked. And with this button, we get the infrared light. See how it turns blue? The bright bite is the ink. These are the parts he chose to keep in the piece. The rest are ideas he discarded. Yes, I see. This document records his compositional decisions. Some of these phrases have never been played before. Look, this one has never been recorded. Look here. You are hearing an original composition by Beethoven, never before heard, except by the people who have read this book. Indeed.
said, Pastor Jim, change those bars, but not he. He wants you to see his moment of trepidation, of doubt. And then he goes on, the notes ascending, ascending, a rising progress. Dr. Lodenberger, what's this? Some kind of food stain. It looks like wine. No, it's probably soup. He loved soup. This soup is terrible. Frau Schnapps, what are you giving me? Schindler, you said this soup is good. Does no one in this household know how to differentiate a tasty bowl of soup from a putrid, fetid, rancing, rotting, pig's proper stinking swell? Does no one have a palate in this house? Do I live amongst palateless people? <laughs> I didn't know he loved soup. I didn't either, until I found soup in many of the sketches. <laughs> These diaries are not only a record of his compositional process, they're also a record of his daily diet. <laughs> Do you like pig's knees? Uh, I beg your pardon. Pig's <laughs> knees. It's Bob's delicatessen. You know, all over Europe are pig's knees. Pig's knuckles. <laughs> yeah, pig knuckles. You must try it. Well, I don't eat much meat. Good, you will like it. <laughs> Thank you. 
not happy with them yet. What do you mean he's not happy with them? He won't let you publish them yet. He's not finished. What, oh, Schindler? Maestro, thank God. I must speak with you. What? 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 <laughs> uh, yes, the master has a very sore throat and can't speak. Maestro, wait. When will the work be ready? Just give me a date. I think 19 variations is enough. We don't need any more. I can't publish more. I can't decipher his writing. He says he can't give you a date. Why not? Why not? The master says he can't control how many variations there are, but the beautiful theme you've composed is the only thing that will determine how many exist in it. When the theme is exhausted, the master will stop. He wrote all that. He writes very fast. <laughs> <laughs> I need it for the publishing house. We've sold almost nothing this year. I don't want to go back to teaching 12-year-olds the guitar. <laughs> he asks if you've tried selling wine. He says more people like wine. You mustn't mock me. I served you well when I was working at Steiner. I was always at your disposal. I don't understand why he's behaving this way. Dear Belly, I am making it better. Maestro! <laughs> Pardon me, I must tend to the master. <laughs> Look! He's mocking my waltz! He's mocking me! Do you know what he would do to you if he found you touching his sketches? He's turned my waltz into a mad march! Like toy soldiers march! You can't do this! This is the first variation. The first variation must always follow the meter of the theme. He can't turn my waltz into a mad march. It's just not done. These are the rules. You really expect Beethoven to conform to the musical conventions of the day? And look at this one. It's like circus music. Look! Clowns will dance to this. Dear Belly, watch what you're saying! Here, yeah, what's this? A fugue? Everyone knows Beethoven can't write fugues. His fugues are terrible. They are not terrible. They're just not very 
very good. Gentlemen, his views are terrible. Is this why he took on this commission to mock me? Dear Belly, these are sketches. The, the master is trying things out. These are not the final variations. You can't judge from these. That would be like looking at a pencil sketch of the Mona Lisa and complaining about the color. But my waltz is so... My theme is so... Dear Belly, it is a testament to your composition that the master is finding so much in it. Shinla, please don't flatter me. I am telling you the truth. Look at all the work he's putting into it. And here's more. I keep urging him to work on the mass, on the knife. Both more lucrative by far, but he's obsessed with your waltz. Really? So these are all sketches for my variations? Yes. He returns to them at all hours, day and night. He does. You should be happy that Beethoven is even looking at your insignificant waltz. You hate my waltz. You think it insignificant. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so blunt, but you drive me to madness with your eternal nagging. Thank you, that makes me feel much better. So, if it's so insignificant, then why is the master pursuing it? It is baffling to me. Of course, it's baffling to you. You aspire to the stuffy rooms of the palaces and the aristocracy. You can't understand what I mean with my wants. But maybe your master can. I think Beethoven is making fun of Diabelli's walls. Making fun of it? Yes, there's so much humor in the variations. He's mocking the waltz, showing it for all its inequity. You can see that in so many of the sketches. So this is your hypothesis. Diabelli's waltz is ordinary, and it's mediocre. Beethoven will go on to show Vienna what a great composition he can make out of a grain of sand. I'm not convinced. Oh, I almost forgot. Your daughter called again. Thank you. Are you upset with your daughter? No, why? Well, she calls you almost every day, and you don't call her back. Don't you like your daughter? I mean, you love her, of course, but you don't like her, do you? My daughter is. I don't know how to explain it. She's like her father. Oh, he was a good man, a good father. But he couldn't stick with anything and got mired in mediocrity, and I'm afraid she's like him. First she was a sculptor, then she joined a band, then she was a painter, now she's a costume designer, but she's about to change that too. And it's the same with the men of mine. I fear she'll never truly be anything. I I'm afraid my daughter is maybe a hmm. What? Nothing. Here's our drink.
loved watching my mother up there at the podium. And I loved watching the faces of her students that were mesmerized. The most kids hated when their parents work all the time, but I didn't. I loved it. That's when she's at her best. And it kills me that when she looks at me, all she sees is failure. Well, if that's all she sees, then your mom is blind. Or maybe she just didn't see this. Oh, no. Oh, oh yes. Hedda Gabler looks sumptuous and elegant in costumes designed by the very talented Miss Clara Brand. Uh, Congratulations. Thank you very much. My mother is thrilled I got a rave review in the Village Voice. My parents are proud of me if I leave the house with pants on. <laughs> What's the deal? I just don't want to do the same thing for 20 years. I love doing something for a few years, learning about it, and moving on. For me, that's a life better lived. <laughs> Old school. That's how I roll. <laughs> No, stop. We've been doing this for three months. Oh, I know, I'm sorry. I'm all, oh, I'm all over the place, and you, I really like you, and I have a great time with you. Then what's the deal? You're so nice. Oh! And, oh. and you're so great. And, oh. oh! No. My mother's health is deteriorating, and it's only going to get worse, and I don't think you want to be around for that. I know better than you what I'm getting myself into, and I can help. I don't want your help, but I want to be a part of your caseload. You're not. Can't you tell that I really like you? Don't say that. Why not? Things between my mother and me are really difficult, and I need to focus on that right now. OK, you do what you got to do. I'm sorry. I know. It's just. My mother fell in the library yesterday. Why didn't you tell me? She had to be hospitalized for a day. I am fine. I am OK. Just a little tired, that's all. The hospital called me. Nothing to worry about. I tripped and fell. Must have been too focused on the work. Mom! Clara, every day I'm making new discoveries. With Dr. Lodenberger's help, I may well be done sooner than expected. That's what she said when I asked her about the episode. And how's Mark? His name is Mike. Oh, sorry, Mike. He's fine. Mm. What? It's just strange. You're dating a man who saw me naked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mom. And oddly, that's all he talks about. <laughs> uh, you're seeing other people too, yes? Because he saw you naked? No. Because he's not right for you. You need someone who challenges you. Mom, why don't you come home? Your doctors are here. I'm fine. It was nothing. And the university is threatening to cut my grant in half. They're worried they're not getting their money's worth. I have to stay here. No, you are not fine. Thank you. You are ill, and you're putting yourself in danger. Mom. I'm here. Listen, I was thinking of taking a vacation. I was thinking of going to Europe. Maybe I can stop by and visit with you. Absolutely not. Why not? It's not the right time. I want to spend some time with you before I have to be your nurse. You said that to her? Yep. Then what did she say? She hung up. <laughs> what? 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 Out with it! You have been sulking the whole way home. Just say it. These people want the music I make, but they don't understand what it takes to make it. I had an idea. I needed to get to the carriage to write down the idea so I could make it into something. Speak! How will you pay your rent this month? We'll figure something out. If you would 
have just tipped your hat to the counts. He would have given us a commission. He wanted to talk to me. That's an hour of my time. That count does not hold a conversation. He is like a woodpecker attached to a gargantuan tree, hammering on the hollow trunk for hours. I need to find an ending to the variations. You may be evicted. Would it have been so difficult for you to stop and greet him the way one ought to greet a count? I was thinking. I didn't notice it. Master, everyone saw you pull your hat below your eyes and ignore him. <laughs> you think that's funny? The Count was humiliated in front of all of his friends. They were all shocked by your behavior. If I show respect for a person, it will be because that person earned my respect with his deeds, not because of his title. I think that's wonderful. I'll tell that to the landlord when he comes for the rent. They want me to be a dancing monkey in their courts. The Counts and the Countesses, the Dukes and Duchesses, the Barons and Baronesses, there are thousands of them. <coughs> there is only one Beethoven. No wonder their heads are rolling all over Europe. Master, please, you mustn't say such things. Schumann was arrested yesterday to say much less. Let them arrest me. Did you hear that the government has decreed that people cannot dance the waltz? I will not bow down to this paralytic regime. Master, your ears are bothering you, aren't they? Is it the ring? No, that's not important. Now, this is what I was thinking about when that man started talking. It is not important! Will you please come and see this?
well, nothing's broken, so that's good. But? They tried to figure out why she fell. They did a number of tests. The results are mixed. Just tell me. Her forced bottle capacity has been reduced by 39%. Her muscle elasticity and strength by 34%. In English. She's going to have to start using a walker or she's going to hurt herself. Okay. And she might need a wheelchair soon. So the entire schedule they gave me has been a lie. So what's the result? My doctors are not very optimistic. They said she would walk for at least a couple more years. It's been seven months. So how long? It's hard to tell. It could plateau and I could stay like this for a while. I want to know how long she has. It's hard to tell. Just tell me! A year? Maybe a year and a half? So are you going home? Absolutely not. I have to bring her home. I must stay here. She doesn't want to come home. She's told you that. I don't care. Are you sure? Yes. I'm staying here. If I was in your family, I'd want to be with you all the time. Please don't say Master, that. Master, please don't say I that. I can't do it. I can't do it. Master, calm down. Matt, this is not the time. I need more time. Then you should go. Then you should stay. My, My daughter, daughter will, will kill, kill me. me. Sometimes you have to be selfish. I can't finish the variations. I don't know how to finish the set. I want to come with you. I can make you help. Dear Belly will come for you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, but no. I, I need to be alone. I need to be alone. Why? Because you and I barely know each other, and that kind of pressure could kill whatever this is. So there is a this. No, oh. I know that you think that my aunt, so I could be of help. I might need some help. You're going to need help. Master, how can I you help? You can't help. I don't know how to finish the set. What do you mean you can't finish the set? It's, it's all, all wrong. wrong. The composition is one way without me, and I don't know how to end it. Does he know what he's doing to me? You need someone who knows what they're doing. We would have to leave now. You have, have to slow down. down. Time is scarce. I can't wait any longer. I have so much to do. Please. How do I convince her? Listen to me. You have an opportunity. I must not lose this opportunity. This is my last opportunity. This is my last opportunity. I can help. Let me help. Let me help. I can't wait. I have to scarce.
interesting idea. Not the Christian idea of Jesus on the mountain and his face changing all of a sudden and being filled with light and John and Peter and that other guy being surprised by it. No, not that transfiguration. I'm not religious, so no. But the idea of transfiguration, transforming one thing into something better, moving from the banal to the exalted, what if? Beethoven is transfiguring Diabella's walls. If that is the case, the large set of variations is not an exercise in making something out of nothing, as I previously thought, but instead a study in transfiguring the walls into its better self. But not all things transfigure into their better selves. No. My motor neurons are deteriorating rapidly. Every day my muscles are receiving fewer and fewer signals from my brain, so they are atrophying. But the best part of this is that my brain remains untouched by the illness, so that I am able to fully experience the process by which my body is becoming but a flaccid carcass. Transfiguration, indeed. My daughter arrived in Bob two weeks ago. She's trying to help. Perhaps children ought to be the way in which we transfigure, the way we become our better self. Clara was always piercingly observant and original in her thinking. When she was a child, she asked me one day, Mom, does God sing songs? I was intrigued by the question, why do you ask that? Because, she replied, when you listen to music, Mom, you look like you're talking with God. She was seven years old, observant, indeed. But she meanders through life. She, she experiences everything, but commits to nothing. Children, here be dragons. We have been in bond two weeks. Cold War buildings collide with 17th century houses to create a landscape where both feel out of place. I came to bring her home. But, well, you know how that went. <laughs> She's gotten worse. Much worse than she let on in any of our telephone conversations. She was very upset I came. And even more upset Mike came with me. But in these two weeks, we've begun to fall into a routine of sorts. My mother goes to the archive. Mike has a part-time gig at the Red Cross. I am volunteering in the scenic shop at a local theater. I do the shopping for the house, and at night we all eat together. But like the buildings in this city, we all feel out of place. As my mother would say, here be dragons. English map makers in the 16th century would place the phrase, here be dragons, at the edges of their known world. They meant to imply that A, well, there are dragons there, but B, that venturing into those regions was a risky proposition. I came just as soon as I could. Good afternoon, Angel. How is he? He's better now. Thank God. We almost lost him, but he's come through. Oh, poor man. So there are no sketches for the variations between <clears throat> 1819 and 1822? I haven't found any. Did you check all the stats? Yes. So he stopped working on the variations for three years? It seems that way. It came over him suddenly. The coughing was terrible. But the doctors bled him and they say he's out of danger. This, after a year of jaundice. Indeed. Do you wish to see him? Yes, please. What is this? Our friend is completely deaf now. You must write down what you wish to say to him. 
And does he write back? No. He will speak back to you. I understand. How are you, maestro? You look well. No, Luigi, you do look well. But what we do have is the conversation book from November 1822. All of Vienna is praying for your recovery. You can't blame them for wanting your music. You can't blame them for wanting your music. You don't know how Beethoven responded. Everyone's eager to hear your mass. All of Vienna is talking about it. It is. When can we hear it? Oh, that's wonderful. No one will believe all you've accomplished during your illness. Beethoven exists in the silences. Anyone else would have given up, but not you. Yes, we are prepared. As soon as you give us the mass, we'll publish it. We all eagerly await the chance to hear it. Anton, we should let him sleep. Yes. Luigi, we are all praying for your recovery. Goodbye. Beethoven was very ill for those three years, many times on the brink of death. An appropriate time to write a mass. He says the mass is nearly finished. It is. Wonderful. I think he's on his way to recovery. What makes you say that? Today, he fired the cook. <laughs> he also said that from now on, he would endeavor to surpass everything he has ever done before. There's someone who can do it. He seems to be on his way. The new symphony will have a choir in it. A choir? And he's writing a sonata in two parts. <gasps> I can't wait to hear them. I think you are right. It seems that Diabelli has given up on getting the variations. His company is doing very well. He's a wealthy man now. And he is getting the mass, a much more important work from Beethoven. Please take good care of him. He looks much worse than I thought. I'll do my best. <laughs> this is helping with elasticity and slowing down the calcification of your joints. You want to be flexible. I need to get back to the archives. Just a bit longer. Clara, you should learn how to do this. Yes, I'm watching. Why don't you take your mother's arm and I'll show you how. Uh, no, that's, don't have I'll get a nurse to do it. You, you, don't, you don't have to learn to do that. Are you sure? I can do it. It's fine. I mind she can walk. No. It's important she understand how to do this when I'm not here. It will help with the pain. Is this really necessary? It is. Come. Take your mother's arm. <coughs> Is that okay? Yes. And if anything feels uncomfortable, you have pain at any time, let me know. We're just going to move the shoulder first. In. And out. <gasps> I'm hurting. It's okay. It, it, it's not you. It's just a bit stiff. Here. Let me help. Let's try it again. Now breathe in, Dr. Grant. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. It's a 
a symptom. <laughs> laughing? It's called emotional incontinence. <laughs> Variations. 
Diabelli was pleasantly surprised by the offer and immediately proposed 80 ducats. 80 ducats? In advance. In advance? Yes. That's all for all. <laughs> this letter shows Beethoven himself negotiated with Diabelli for only 40 ducats, and that's what he got paid. I, I still don't see where you're headed with this. Beethoven began the piece in 1890. Why does Schiller only talk about 1820? I suspect Schiller wasn't there in 1819 when Beethoven began it. Okay, so what do you conclude from that? It was Schindler who started the legend that Beethoven hated Diabelli's walls. The master did not care for the theme with its Schuster flag. He is the only source that tells us Beethoven found the theme commonplace. What if he weren't even there? Well, that means we truly have no idea what Beethoven thought of Diabelli's walls. Catherine, that is a true discovery. For 200 years, we have believed Beethoven hated the walls. Do you realize what a setback this is for me? What are you talking about? What if after all of this, Beethoven just wrote the variations for the money? What? What if the reason we're not artistic? What if he just wrote all these variations for the money and he needed the money? Beethoven didn't like his money. But I don't think that's why he did it. Oh, but if he did it, it's a outnumber Bach. Bach? Yes. There are 32 movements in Bach's Goldberg variations. Maybe Beethoven just wanted to one-up Bach. That's he, why he wrote 33. He did not say he was going to write 33 variations. <clears throat> At first he said he was only going to write 6 or 7. And, and then the number increased as his obsession grew. I've been here nine months now. And I'm not any closer to figuring this out. Why? He was obsessed with his mediocre walls. I just don't get it. Catherine, what's going on? My tongue has begun twitching. It didn't start two weeks ago. My tongue has begun to die. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
No, not like that. I'm not good with words. What I mean is, I see them, and I wouldn't mind being them. I wouldn't mind if my body was to deteriorate like that. I'm pretty sure I could tolerate that. So long as I had some of my life with you. Does that make sense? It's ridiculous, I know, but if I think you can think about it. Shut up. Okay. <laughs>
It is only because I publish composers like you. That's where my real wealth resides. And like Schubert. And like Liszt. And like Weber. Yes. Yes, you should get rid of all of them and publish only Beethoven. I agree. No, Schubert. You can keep Schubert, discard the rest. <laughs> you are very generous with Schubert. His songs are very pretty. But I heard he was arrested. Yes, for saying what we all think. Yes, I hear that Parliament is working on a new law that will lay down how high birds can fly. Be careful what you say, Luigi. The walls have ears. Freedom and progress. How can there be either freedom or progress when the police listening to every word you say? So, what did you think of my sketches? What sketches? The one Schindler was trying to hide behind his back. Those pages are my children. You think I wouldn't notice when one of them is kidnapped? Schindler is <laughs> a loyal man. Your Walt is so yes. I am not done yet, you know. Schindler told me. I need more time, Anton. I need more time. I know. Well, promise me, you won't publish the other composer's variations before mine. Of course, Luigi. As long as it's within the next 30 days. Oh, I can see how you got to be so rich. Master, we should get you home. Oh, Luigi, I wanted to tell you I had the most delicious meal stew a new cook, and she makes it so wonderful. Oh, and I will send you some later today. Oh, good, but tell her to make it thin. I can't digest anything thick anymore. I have gout of the chest. Can you believe it? <laughs> no. I didn't know such a thing existed, and I have it. I thought it was a disease of the joints. Me too. Well, goodbye, Anton. Oh. I almost forgot. This is for you. It's the mass. It's finished. Yeah. Huh. 
be a Turkish man. Ooh. <laughs> they are very good at them. Really? Yes, they're good. <laughs> they take their time. Okay, <laughs> I have enough of that. <laughs> must be a few. I must conquer the few. For three independent voices in separate entrances. No, 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 not in C major. <laughs> Definitely not in C major. It must be a foreign one never used before in the entire set. A variation that exists far from the theme. Yes, in E flat major better, that's the wrong tempo. It must be double time and faster. Allegro.
they play the concerto, they too see the image of a woman in a red dress. That's a great story. I know, isn't it amazing? Where are you going? Can't leave. 
seemingly alone. You're not alone. You can call your daughter by Gertie. Gertie! I massaged them and she felt a little better. Good. The irony is we were never a very physical family. That's, now all we do is touch. That's one of the benefits of ALS. It forces intimacy. What are the other benefits? I haven't forgiven you yet. Okay. I couldn't tell you. I'm her nurse. I thought you were here for me. I have to respect her wishes. How long have you known? Two weeks. Two weeks? Don't think she respects you just because you gave her the morphine. She doesn't. I don't care what she thinks. You're the one who cares so much what she thinks. Thank you. Is this about me getting your mother the morphine or about the fact that she's dying? Because she's dying. I know that! I am so stupid. I thought if I came here somehow, she and I would be able to figure things out. Well, what if that doesn't happen? What? I see people go through this all the time. Everyone wants some kind of closure before the end. But it never happens that way. It never goes the way you planned. Then what am I doing here? You're spending time with your mother. You're helping her feeding her, fading her. It's those moments with your mom that might be what you get. I'm sorry you found out this way, but that might be what you get. This effing disease! This effing disease.
another stick of flour and a kilo of pig's knuckles. May I keep the peace offering for a few more days? If Muhammad doesn't come to the mountain, the mountain comes to Muhammad. I'll see you all tomorrow.
Okay, but I'll check tomorrow night. So here we go into the machine. All right, keep as still as you can. She's been choking so much lately. Yes. She gets so scared that she'll choke to death on her own saliva, and I keep telling her it's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Gertie, how did your aunt die? That was how she died. Really? Yes. That's <sighs> Here, take this. Rest. I'll go get you a blanket. No, please. I 
I was able to create music that would have never been possible had I been in the world of the eerie. The thing that I had feared most had happened. And yet, it allowed me to be with my music in the most intimate of ways. I suspected that. I wrote a paper and I made that point. You were right. I knew it. You were right. I knew it. Dr. Pratt, it's time. It's time to stop struggling. I'm so jealous. Of who? Of everyone who will continue. I was so jealous of everyone who could hear. <laughs> All the time. All the time. <coughs> who is that? That's my friend Gertie. She's devoted her life to taking care of your sketches. Not her. The, the other one. The younger one. That's my daughter Clara. She's the one who wanders. Yeah. What a brave girl. Yeah. She's a handful. Oh, what's the problem? I've had so much in my life. I want her to be happy and her. And why do you think <clears throat> she's not? <laughs> to the world this beautiful book, a set of 33 variations penned by our very own Viennese composer Ludwig van Beethoven. For this work, we offer the world a true masterpiece as only our finest composer can produce. Look at that. He seems very happy with your composition. Are you? I could have used a couple more weeks. <laughs> Why is it that they always look like that? And I always look like this. <laughs> These variations are made still more intriguing by the fact that they were all based on the waltz of my own maker. That no one else believed held such promise. This is, without a doubt, the greatest set of variations ever written. Oh my God. 
God, that is so annoying. <laughs> Clara. Oh, I know that it ain't you. Here? Uh-huh. Uh, more. Here? Oh. Harder. Do you want to scratch it yourself? Yes. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it is my great, great pleasure to introduce to you the keynote speaker of this conference, our esteemed colleague, Dr. Catherine Brandt. As scholars, we begin our search with an hypothesis and then take the necessary steps to prove or disprove. My hypothesis was that Beethoven wanted to use Diabelli's waltz to show Vienna what a great masterwork he could create out of a grain of sand. My hypothesis was not insubstantial or far-fetched. It was simply incorrect. You see, I didn't see in that waltz what Beethoven saw in it. I saw it as an inconsequential trifle, the way it has been viewed for the past 200 years. But Beethoven saw it for what it was, a beer hall waltz. People danced to it. I propose that Beethoven was not trying to make something out of nothing. Instead, he was showing us what lies in every moment of the waltz. He takes the first four notes in the opening of the waltz and makes six variations with the repeated chord in the treble gives birth to two more variations. The ascending notes generate five more, so that a 50-second waltz yields a 50-minute composition. Variation form allows Beethoven to do the miraculous and slow down time to pierce the walls and enter the mind and show that life, in its haste, robs us there's the moment when your hand first graces the hand of your dance partner. There's the moment when your eyes meet. A moment of trepidation as the music begins. He smells good. She's missed the step. Does she like me? Does he wish I were a better dancer? And so on. So that for Beethoven, variation form is not only a musical structure, it is a way to reclaim all that is fleeting, allowing us to see it with new eyes. My daughter was in my hospital room today. She looked at her boyfriend, and for one second, I saw such strength in her eyes. And I saw the lives they'll share. I saw the mistakes they'll make. But I saw the way they face their children. It was something. And so we arrived at the final variation. Beethoven chooses to end a set of variations with a minuet, a graceful dance. And I find such beautiful symmetry in his design. We start with the beer hall waltz and we end with the delicate spiritual dance. Variations on the dance should end with the dance. What an elegant idea and so eloquently articulated by the master. This from a man who could not dance.
I have asked my daughter to deliver this paper to you, and I want to thank her for agreeing to do it. She was instrumental in helping me write it. This is indeed my final lecture. I want to thank you all for being my colleagues. I am honored to have had you as my peers. That's it. That's the end of her paper. As many of you may know, my mother passed away three weeks ago in the middle of the night. Per her request, she was buried in Vaughan. We all appreciated the messages you sent. Thank you. My mother wanted me to end her lecture by reading a quote of Beethoven's himself. Let us begin with the primary cause of things. Let us begin with how something came about, why it came about in that particular way and became what it is. 